It is going to be one of the most memorable days of your lives. And now you can hold those precious moments from that day forever with Action Digital Video Artist. We offer a variety of packages that we hope would meet your budget and exceed your expectations. Our award-winning staff with combined years of experience allows us to customize your wedding video with creative imagination. Call today. They're going to see the game. They're going to, they're going to see just the regular camera shots that, we, uh, that I take during the game. They're going to be able to hear me directing the game, and I'm sure they'll be able to hear the announcers as they call the game. And you'll see some interaction between me and the announcers and how I have to listen closely to what they're saying in order to put shots on the air to, to kind of make the video match the audio. That's what's, what's going to, that's, I hope that's what's going to be on well, the Well, I hope I did a good job. Yeah. All right, so uh, the guys have this ready. We'll let it run for a few minutes because I'm as curious to see this. I love watching this when, Mar when Mark's uh, shown it to me before, and I hope you will too. So, Saints Dolphins. Has been Ronnie Brown. Look for him today to get his offense on track. Because of Katrina, all 16 games this season for the Saints are road games. However, Aaron Brooks has really brought this team together. Well, because of the adversity, this team really has a higher Step level. Step out open, Mike. And Eric Bro Aaron Brooks is going to try and attack this Dolphin defense. It's been depleted by injury. Open, and he gets Mike. Joe Horn back in the lineup today to help. Roll A. Dissolve to A. All right, so Nick Saban returns to back. Nobody knows. That was on tape. LSU Pro take the B. national championship back in 2003 uh -huh. with a 13-1 and one record. B. His team losing last Friday, 30-20 to 20 to Kansas City. Take on B. the other sideline, Jim Haslett. Series note, yes or no. And the New Orleans Step Saints. Step the camera, 10 with the five. Season, and his team losing 28-17 to 17 last week at St. Louis. Dissolve the with the five. The Dolphins lead the series five games Kicker to seven. Three, their last meeting back in 1998. Dolphins Result of camera seven, deep man five. Game, our colleague Dan Marino threw his 400th Result of camera seven, clean. While the Dolphins defense scores four turnovers. Result clean of camera seven. Change your five, ready five. Well, that gives you an five. idea. I, I hope I, I hope people at home could hear uh, what you were saying in the background. Um, but whatever, if you guys get a chance to, um, Lance, if you can f fast forward that into just some game action later instead of right from the beginning, and we'll hear some more of that in a little while. Um, but you're you're saying, um, you know, take. Take one, take two, right, take right. three, all that stuff. Yeah. Actually, what you saw just now, we had to record the open yesterday. Normally, uh, we do the open live. Uh, that open was actually pre recorded because the time the national anthem hit, we did, we, you never want to come on the air and the national anthem's playing, you know, and, you, right. and you're talking over the national anthem. It's very disrespectful, and especially at a time like this. And with, disconcerting. And, yeah, disconcerting yeah. as well. And so we re recorded the open and played it back. So during the time when the, the open was on, I was just kind of quiet waiting on the open to end so I can go to my first shot live. And so after we came out, we came off that split screen of the two uh, players for uh, Joe Horn and, and, and uh, I think it was Aaron Brooks. From there, we went to a live sh uh, a shot on tape of Nick Saban. And so from that point on, we were live uh, and, the, and the game was about to begin. But up until that point, it was all on tape, which doesn't happen very much because unless you're dealing with the Saints, every other NFL team, we tell them what time to play the anthem, but the Saints, they wanted to play the anthem when they wanted to play the anthem, and it just really, you know, we ran the risk of uh, it, it being on right when we were on the air, and we didn't want that to happen. Did I mention to you that that doesn't sound unusual for the Saints? <laughs> They're good guys, but like, I, I, I tell everybody all the time, um, the Saints are like Gilligan. You know, they, they're about to get off the island, and all of a sudden Gilligan messes up. And the Saints, some, you know, they've lost some games on the last, you know, the last fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter. It's just like Gilligan. That's what happens to them. So the Saints, I, I tell everybody, they're Gilligan. The Saints are Gilligan. Oh, my. And I feel like when I look in the camera and see this black shirt and orange thing, I feel kind of like uh, Mr. Howell. Um, Mark Grant is here. Uh, We'll check out some more of his footage when we get to argue over the stupidest things, thinking there's got to be something out there better for me. And I said, <laughs> i got to get out of here. What can I do? And I became a really good cameraman and got a shot with ESPN and started running camera. And one thing led to another, and I became a director. Stayed at ESPN mm -hmm. for about 11 years. And um, you know, when CBS got the NFL back in 1998, my contract was up. I was in the right place at the right time. And uh, I got caught in the crossfires. You know, ESPN wanted to keep me. CBS wanted me. And they kind of bid on my services until somebody won out, and, and uh, CBS won out. And it's been great. It's a lot of fun. I, I, I work about seven months out the year. <laughs> I work guy, from, he's, I, kill, he's killing I work from me. September, I work okay. from September <laughs> to the end of March because I do basically football, basketball. Right, right. And then I take off April, May, June, July, and August, and then go back to work in September. They pull you so. out of the bullpen now and then for stuff. Every now, you know, you know I do like. Did you do the tennis, the U.S. Open? Last I did the year? U.S. Open. That's actually when I start my year at the end of August. That's right. my first event I do. 
and then I go right into the NFL. I do some college football. You know, I, I've, I've done a couple uh, college games this year. I'll do the LSU-Arkansas game the Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, but it's mainly the NFL every week, and then it's on to college basketball, and then it's off. It's pretty golf. scary. Off and golf. That's pretty scary business. how your career and Tim Brando's have paralleled each other in some ways. Well, you know, it, it is funny because, uh, you know, Tim is from Baton Rouge, and, and he got his start in, in at least in, in doing announcing games, working with, with uh, Cablevision and Tiger Vision, right. which is where I got my start as a camera person, then as a director and a producer. Uh, from there, Tim went to ESPN in Connecticut, and, and uh, although I didn't have to move to Bristol, Connecticut, I went to ESPN, and then Tim went to CBS, and then I went to CBS, and so... You know, the, the, the running joke is that wherever Tim goes, I'm right behind him. I'm going to be there sooner or later. So. Well, Tim Brando has given me a blood oath that he will be on Sports Monday live in studio before the end of this calendar year. We actually had him lined up one time, and we had a last-second change. He's given me the blood oath. So when you talk to him, you remind I'll him remind of that. I'll remind him of that. And, uh, yeah, I'm, sure I'm holding to it because uh, I think he'd be a great guest. Now, we said before about uh, Mark doing the game, and well, we showed you the open from yesterday's Saints-Dolphins game. But we want to show you some tape footage from, uh, you know, so, some more highlights where maybe you'll get a better idea of the camera angles and those kind of things. And uh, we'll have that ready for you in just a second. Yeah. How, um, do you, it's, it's hard to describe. I wish I, I got to do this sometime where I bring a camera into studio mm -hmm. and show people what you're doing. You know, like bring it in there behind you. Right. You know, and, and, uh -huh. and show what you're looking at. Right. But describe exactly what it is you're looking at. Well, I, 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 I tell people all the time, it's, you know, when you have to go buy a new TV and you go into Circuit City or Best Buy or one of those places and you go in there and you go to that room and they've got all those TVs in there, <laughs> um, that's kind of like what it's like in a TV truck. But the only difference is when you go in Circuit City, they're all on the same channel. But when you go into the TV truck, they're all on different channels because they all have different things. Mm -hmm. You know, there's cameras, there's replay machines, there's graphics, um, you know, monitors and all that. And so my job is to look at all those different monitors. I think uh, I counted yesterday in the truck... We had about about 52 monitors that I had to kind of watch during the during the game, and so uh, mm. it, it's a lot to look at. But but you know you get used to what you're doing, and you get a sense of you know when the when the when the play happens, you know you're going to look at this monitor because the guy's going to fall out of bounds on the near sideline, so you look at camera six's monitor, and if he's going to fall about out of bounds mm. on the far sideline, you look at camera eight's monitor. So after a while, it all looks very very intimidating when you first go in there. But the more you do it, um, the easier it gets. And I'll tell you, when I first started. <laughs> Uh, and I went inside, you know, Cablevision's little s bread truck that they were covering the city council meetings with, and they had three cameras, and, and, and it was just very, very small compared to what I'm used to. I said to myself, I said, there's no way I'm going to ever learn how to do all this. And, <laughs> and um, because it was just, it, even at that level, it was, it, you know, it was so intimidating. And now I work in these trucks where they, they expand the side out, and we have up to 100 monitors in the truck, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing how far I've come and, 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 and how far... Uh, you know how I mean I, I I never forget where I came from though because I if I had never done city council meetings and school board meetings I wouldn't be working for CBS today. Well, let's take a look at uh, some of what you do for CBS. Now check this out again. Uh, it's it's yesterday's Saints Dolphins game. You'll see the TV coverage of it, but note the camera changes, the scene shots, and what you hear in the background yeah. from Mark. And you may want to keep the audio up on the director side a little bit more than the uh, the announcer side. You might. The, everybody might be able to hear a little bit more what, of what goes on behind the scenes. Have at it. Push. Hit the guy that he wants to make. He's made Wide shot seven. Ready seven clean. Find the right receiver. Take seven clean. So We're going to need color to break, guys. I need color to go to break. That's first in the AFC. Got it. And he's ready to send it away. Dante stand Stolen. by camera two. Around the 25. Take two. Color to break, guys. High wobbly kick. Short. Find the ball. Resolve to camera six. And dissolve to camera six. More, please. Aaron Brooks and the New Orleans Saints on offense. Okay. Okay.